Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Trevor and it's your with TK Dream Vlogs. Um, tonight we're going to do a quick video on the one of the products that we're going to be putting in Brutus. And it's going to be a refrigerator slash freezer. And I got my notes. It's by a company named Bodega. It's It runs on 12 volt or 110 uh, AC outlet. You can set it anywhere between negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. It, they, they make three different versions. They got a, 30, a 38 quart, a 53 quart, and a 64 quart. The one that we got was the one in the middle because we didn't want to go too small. But we also didn't want to go too big. So I believe it's got a two-year warranty on the cooler itself. And then it's got a three-year warranty on the uh, compressor. It weighs about, I'm not sure if it says the weight on here or not. I believe it weighs, what, about 38 pounds, just something like that. I'm sure if, like, you look up Bodega on Amazon, you'll be able to find out the weight. But it's not light, but it's not super heavy either. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to show you the cooler itself and how it functions. It's, it got to, uh, you can Bluetooth to it, and you can monitor the temperatures through your phone and everything. We just got this, so I haven't done any of that. But I know it can be done. I've seen other videos and things like that. That and it's got a uh, a voltage regulator on it, so that if you have this plugged into your DC outlet on your car, that you can set it. It's got a medium, low, and high detection. And the higher you got it, the more it'll detect how much battery it's taken off of like your car battery, so that it doesn't completely drain it all the way down to the <coughs> point where you can't use your car battery to start your car. It'll automatically shut off. So if you're not worried about that, you want to set it, I'm vlogging, dog. <laughs> so you want to set that all the way as low, as low as possible so it doesn't kick off if you're not worried about your battery on your car. Like, we're not worried about it because we're going to be using a solar generator or a power bank. So we're not worried about that. We're going to set it as low as we can get it. But I'm going to go ahead and change the camera so you guys can see what the cooler looks like. All right, so this is the Bodega Cooler Refrigerator Freezer Combo. Um, we just got it, so we haven't even used it. I just plugged it in a few minutes ago. Um, it's got a USB port in case you want to charge your phone. And then there's the power button. It's got, like, a memory, so it'll hold the temperature that you set it at. This is the refrigerator, and this is the freezer. If you look inside the cooler itself... It's got a little L shape for the freezer side and then a box size for the refrigerator side. These little grates do come out and so does this center. It'll come out so you can clean the cooler. It's got a drain valve on the other side. Um, it's got uh, a gasket to make sure it keeps it sealed. I'm sure that when you set the temperature, you got to take into consideration of like bleed over from the freezer to the refrigerator. It's pretty simple. You just adjust the temperature with the plus and minus, like the freezer. You just want to hit the down. Like it's minus four. We don't want minus four. We'll go to like, say, about 30 for the freezer. And then I'm assuming the freezer's going to bleed over into the refrigerator a little bit. So set it at 40, and then it'll jump to what the temperature is inside the cooler right now. So on the freezer side, it's 84. On the refrigerator side, it's 83. We have this plugged into the AC outlet right now, so it's showing we have a full battery. If you were to be using like your uh, your car battery or your solar or your solar generator, this wouldn't be all the way up. And it also has an eco mode. It's on max right now, but if you hit setting and then you press up or, or down, I mean. One of those. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So if you hit the setting button once, it's on max. If you hit it again, it switches over to eco. And what that is, is eco is adjustment for, like, how much power it's going to draw to kind of keep the cooler 
to temperature. But once you get it full of like product, like soda, water, or anything like that, it'll hold the temperature a lot easier because it's stored energy in there so that it doesn't have to produce as much coolant to keep that area cool. Um, I believe, so I believe that you can go into the settings and I just double checked a second ago that um, you can set a timer on this to run for a certain amount of time and it'll automatically shut itself off again. It's another safety device for like when you're running off your car battery or you're running off a solar generator that you don't draw that battery all the way down. So I believe that we it'll be more than efficient enough for us I don't know if we're going to keep the grates in it or not because those do move around quite a bit. Like if you are driving, like you can hear the the grates inside. I don't know how much that will affect us as far as like once we put stuff in it and things like that. Um, um, it does come with wheels. So like it, it's, it's heavy. Like once you get it, like if you were to fill this all the way up, I guess if, it, if you put straight liquid in it, it's probably going to be close to 70, 80 pounds, wouldn't you say? So you're going to appreciate those wheels. Those, the wheels are a rubber and not plastic, so they're not going to, if you're rolling on dirt or something like that, and they're not going to break like plastic wheel will. You'll be close to rocks to get enough here to the porch pretty easily. Yeah. And it, it's running right now. Like, I have it on. Yeah. And quiet. you can't even hear it. Like, I hear the birds more over the, than I do the the compressor the fans running i can barely hear that it's a little dirty because like we said the other day if you haven't seen our other videos we had to evacuate to go out of town because of a field fire they evacuated the area and we pretty much just grabbed our stuff and threw it in the back of the truck and if you don't close the hatch all the way it leaves a small gap and on a gravel road and it came in through the <laughs> the back and dusted everything in the truck it was gnarly. It left a lot of dust everywhere. You like that sun in your face? I know, right? I was trying to let you block the sun from me because you're so much taller than me. But yeah, we're going to try it. Like, we're new at YouTube, and this is kind of like an on-a-win thing. It's not very in detail. Or it's kind of like an overview slash review. We're going to give a much better review once we actually get to use it, put it in Brutus, getting like where it's running off of our solar and we'll be able to tell you like how long it takes for it to get down to temp and things like that. And we're going to do that on anything major that we're going to be using in Brutus. Like we got our our primary uh, power supply. Hopefully, we'll be here at the end of this week. We have our generator that we're going to do a review on, which is our backup power supply. We're hoping to get. Oh yeah, we got these pretty cool mics they um are wireless mics for they work on android phones iphones and your regular what was it 2.5 headphone jack yeah yeah it, they, it goes into like any camera and then they got a distance of up to like 800 feet so like you could be like 800 feet away from the little bluetooth sending unit huh Ruining my review oh well <laughs> i'm just saying they're really cool but yeah, we're gonna do a review on those because our we want to have decent sound quality. We need so you guys can hear us. Our first video wasn't so bad, and then we had these on on our last video, and we didn't realize it until after we edited it and uploaded it. That like we had it on our collars, so like when we turn our head to talk, maybe like <laughs> so <laughs> we're learning and we're trying to get the process of like how this is going and things like that. Please yeah. forgive the movement of the camera today. I'm not the steadiest person on earth today. Again, we're new and trying to figure this stuff out and get it going. But we'll get it. We're, we're Our quality of production will go up. Um, Yeah, so in case you haven't, know, if you haven't seen our other videos, we, we are going to be living nomadic, hopefully within the next year. Um, if that's something that interests you, go back and watch our other videos. Um, we have a Patreon and a youtube facebook page or group if you want to know more about that it'll be in the description below if you would like comment subscribe and oh and share so that 
we can get the followers. We'd appreciate that. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave it in the uh, comment section. Again, at the end of every video, we want to let you guys know that we want to know what your guys' dreams and goals are. So if you would, or if you feel comfortable with it enough, leave it in the comments. Let people know. You never know. You might have something in common with someone that's doing the same thing, and you guys can collaborate or communicate and talk about it and get bounce ideas off of each other. But, um, yeah, this is a, just a short video, and we'll hope that you'll follow, us, follow along with us and catch our next video. We'll talk to you later. Bye.